Hello and welcome to this episode of Unreal Engine Don't Quit. Today we will create an animated loading screen. This will be done using blueprints and level streaming. So let's start. The first thing we have to do is create the project. I'm using version 4.26 with no starter content for this example. Let's create the project and create a flowchart so it's easier to program. The first thing we have to do is go to the wanted map. Then load the persistent map which is done automatically and load the loading map. Then show the loading screen, load the sublevels and we will explain a little bit of level streaming. But when the sublevels finish loading then hide the loading screen and remove it, but if they're not finished, then keep waiting. Loading st streaming will be done easily and will be managed through blueprints. And that will be the flow. So the first, first thing we have to do is go to the wanted map. How will we do this? Through a portal. Let's create a folder so we can be organized with our files and let's create the map one the wanted map where I will want to go and the start map where the portal will be so I'll create a portal by using three static meshes and then I will convert them to a blueprint with this blueprint, I will create the functionality to go to another map. First, we will use uh, a simple node called Open Level, but later we will see how this can be used together with with level streaming. So here ha I have the blueprint, and with the blueprint, I need a box trigger, and this box collision we will set up the collision profile to trigger so it can collide and overlap with the with any pound and we will use the begin overlap trigger and this event will with the open level node we will load the other map so now it loads as it should be so let's do the persistent part of thing level streaming is a way of loading levels we have this persistent level will which will be loaded and all actors in it and I'll create a blank persistent level and I will add as a sub level the wanted map that had all the actors now if I press play and I put that um, streaming map method as blueprint nothing will load because nothing is telling that map to load and we will fall through the ground and there will always be a black screen I will put the an, a floor in the persistent level because if the map is too heavy you may fall through the ground before the static mesh of the floor loads so that's why I'm creating in the persistent level an actor that will serve as a as a floor and the player start so I have total control where do I want to spawn my my character with with that done all I need to do is save put that map as a blueprint uh, loaded by blueprints and you will see that in my persistent level there's only that floor. I would need to start loading that because my portal now loads the map that is not the persistent map. So let's fix it. And now we have the persistent level which it doesn't load the, the sub levels yet. So let's create a loading map. And this map will be used with any other map that wants to load their their map filled with actors and 
let's drag and drop it in the Levels tab. Right click and this map, let's set it as always loaded because when I load the persistent map, I will always want to load this loading map. And in the loaded map, I will use the node load stream level by name and I will get the name using the current level name that will be the exact name that I want plus uh, underscore p and I use the left chop to eliminate that and only get, get the level name that I want and now it's working we have that um, two players because there is a, another another player start there so I will remove that so there is no confusion I'll enter the, the wanted map, delete that character that was being possessed and use the player start that was already there. So now it's it works. I'm using loading a stream, level streaming to load all the levels. So what I need to do now is create the loading screen. Let's do a widget blueprint, call it loading screen and what I would need is the a black image to hide everything that is being loaded and an animated thing to show that it's working properly and it's not getting stuck. Uh, for the image, it's a simple image, I turn the color to black and the animated part, there is a throwber uh, widget that can be modified as needed and already contains an animation. We could also create an animation inside UMG, but it's not really necessary for this small example. Let's open the, the loading level map and open the level bl blueprint of this map. Here it is how we are loading the level. And to show the loading screen, we should put the node to create the screen. We'll use a create widget set the class and add it to the viewport. I'll create a variable to hold that reference so we can remove it later. Now we, sh we see that it w it's working, yeah, but nothing is telling it to hide. We need to check if the sublevels have finished loading. And to do this, the node itself gives us that. When the level loading is completed, then the pin completed will execute. So we just need to call remove remove the the loading screen. Here it loads really fast. So I'll add a delay so we can show the level loading working and the loading screen working properly as well. And there it is. What would be Good to have next is a real example by using free assets from the marketplace. I have added this uh, pack with with a house just so I have something to load and it it uh, takes a while before showing all the map, right? Because we don't want a loading screen that we have to set a, a delay for it to work. Uh, that wouldn't be really, really good. We need a loading screen that shows only when it's needed. And to be sure that it's working, I'm doing the same setup as I did the, the other map. Created a player start and I will create a persistent level completely empty and add the map wanted and set it up as a blueprint a streaming map method only blueprint and drag and drop the loading map set it up as always loaded fix any naming issue because if the names are not exactly the same then it will fail so I will copy paste the name underscore P so it loads with the current uh, nodes that we have programmed in and I'm trespassing the floor because it loads to to slow so in the persistent level I will create um, a floor using a blocking volume this can be 
solved also by modifying the character so it remains in place after uh, all the levels load and then it, we can activate the gravity but this is a quick fix for a quick tutorial here's it let's test it out and to test it we should copy and paste all the actors so it takes a little longer to load then we can delete that delay that we had added in the loading map blueprint level blueprint so it it no longer waits always three seconds so in that way it will wait till this level level is loaded to hide the, the screen now let's see if it's working properly and it is it only shows the loading screen when it's really needed. I hope this video has been useful to you and I'll see you next time.